My name is Daniel Mogg and I'm the creative director for West Seas Empire. And why the heck should you listen to me when it comes to sports photography and sports media? Well, maybe because I have won one of these. It's an Emmy. I do not want to be that guy. I just had to give a small flex because honestly, I had zero of these. I had no awards before I started getting into sports photography. We're live here. I'm your host, Daniel Mogg. What's the best piece of advice any person or coach has given you so far? Mm. So in the last few years, I've been super fortunate to cover sporting events all over the world. The 2016 Olympics, I've shot two Super Bowls, I've done the Stanley Cup Finals, a Golf US Open. So I've done a whole host of sporting events. I just wanted to share with you my story. I really didn't have much experience at all getting into this field. And so if I can do it, you can do it for sure. Welcome to Danger Talk, episode 12. We're live here, I'm your host. Back of my head. I don't even remember anything else. I want to share a cool story. I'm Daniel Mogg, and I'm the creative director for West East Empire. I grew up in Florida. Both of my parents grew up in Seattle, all their high school sweethearts. My mom's name is Vina. She is full Filipino. I just went there recently for the first time. A big part of our trip over there was a mission trip. A group of the Filipinos that are called the Ati, which is a different tribe. They've been, I guess, shunned. My aunt and uncle have helped them make sure, you know, that they're not forgotten. What are the odds that my family was the one that got to come to America and have this great life? Super grateful for that. My dad's name is Brian. My dad is the steady anchor, a great role model for me. My dad was a professional golfer. Golf I was, I was not too great at. Baseball was actually my first love. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to be a professional baseball player. Grew up in an athletic family, always loved sports, but my mom's side was very arts driven. I had a camera in my hand since I was like 10. I went to college in Tampa. I was a media arts major and played baseball. One of those two things is, is what I wanted to do, but sports at first was kind of what I was all in on. So I had had a wrist injury in college. Had surgery on it, it never really got better. I had kind of a connection with the Chicago White Sox, and right as I was up to graduating, they said, hey, if you're up for it, we would sign you to a free agent contract. Hi, I'm Tony Dunn. After 30 years in the NFL, all of my victories, including two At that Bowls, moment, too, I had also had the offer to go work for Tony Dungy's foundation called Family First. Our goal was simple to help turn fathers into all pro dads. Tony Dungy is the fatherhood spokesman for their fatherhood program called All Pro Dad. It was a very hard decision for me. It was tough, baseball it's great, but who wouldn't take a phone call from Coach Dungy? I'm just gonna go and see what happens. I did an internship with them. I was doing video social media production. Four years later, Coach Dungy's phone call got me the job at NBC. No matter where you start, no matter how tough things are, you have time to come back. I love baseball, but I think I think I made the right choice. One, two, three, be a hero! First job out of college, making zero money, but just getting great experience. I'm Daniel and about Daniel four months football. later, they opened up this position on the Sunday Night Football bus, and they were looking for a host, producer, editor, all things production. It was just right up my wheelhouse. Sign me up, <laughs> please. Started in Atlanta, drove up here to Seattle. That was the, my first game. I mean, seeing the country on the ground was just a, it was a fantastic experience. From the bus job, I was actually part of the Sunday Night Football broadcast production crew. Here I was in all the meetings, learning from everyone in the business. So I did that job for two full years, and that got me on the sidelines shooting NFL games, which was just, just a rush. I remember just my first couple games thinking, it's pretty incredible. Right place, right time. So meeting Russ is, for me, it's a, it's a cool story. I've been a Seahawks fan my whole life. When Russ got drafted, started to do some research on him. It's like, man, this guy is really cool. He's, he seems very similar to me. He's a man of faith, like just works hard. So I would send Russell's agent just some photos in it here and there, just as a courtesy. Right after football season in 2016, I got a, a no caller ID phone call one day. I usually don't answer those, but for some reason I did. And Oh, it's Daniel. On the other end, it's, hey Daniel, this is Russell Wilson. I want to know what you think about coming to work for me. <laughs> Am I punked right now? Like, where's Ashton? 
anyone who knows Russell, he is two minute offense all the time. He's, when can you get out here? I need you out here. And so that was a, a big journey going cross country, moving full time up to Seattle. I wear many hats. Creative director is my title. Russell's super creative. He, he likes to do photography, which not a lot of people know that about him. It's a dream to work with because it makes my job that much easier. What episode is this, Daniel? 21. Working with West the East has just been awesome. We all love each other and it, it makes it that much more fun. The one piece of advice that I would have, never have that mentality of like, oh, when I make it someday, I'll start acting this way or I'll start doing this. Start acting as if you're there now. It's when that big break happens, you have all the experience so that, hey, I've already been there, I've already done this. This is just another day at the office for me. You know, one day I would love to direct a feature film, but I also would love to host a show too. So I know Westy East and Russell will be a big part of that. I'm Daniel Mog, your host, kicking it with Russell Wilson. We'll see you guys. So I hope my story inspired you in some way. I know, you know, for me, I really wanted to be an athlete, a professional athlete, and this sports photography, sports media, uh, was really just another way to stay connected with the athlete inside me. Even though I'm not performing on the field, although I'd love to, um, it's really helped me fuel my passion still for sports uh, and also love of photography, cinematography, editing, and really storytelling overall. So hit subscribe, comment below. I'd love to connect with you and really be a resource for you. I wanna help uh, young people who really wanna get into this field. So follow me on Instagram and I'd love to connect with you.